Hey guys, Ender here, going to be bringing you episode 6 of Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we took on the quest that Mai gave us, which was to get rid of an alpha Pokemon that's been messing up Wordeer's, like, territory, I guess. Um, and now, word's got out that Cleaver has been rampaging, and I think they're gonna send us to go deal with that too, because, you know, they're sending me to go deal with everything. But, you know, as the greatest of all time, I understand why they need to send me rather than anyone else so yeah we're gonna go meet with the commander right now and see what's good with Cleaver there you are let's hurry to headquarters did you really have to stop me in front of my house oh never mind looks who look who's being punctual finally realize you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to sh to a sham by bowing to a sh sham oh, okay Huh, the worm I get him is still there. There you go again, insisting on your, on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people fellow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Ooh, excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast history space? Better than some, it's a miracle that you showed up on time, oh, oh mighty leader of the per Pearl Clan. I'm worried you'd get lost in the pointless vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Bro, this guy is flaming her. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift the to the Pearl Clan? In our world's very basis? You wish. Ayo, clap back. Make a comment about his hair or something, like... I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sino, forgive me. What a waste of time. Oh, okay. So, um, let's get one thing straight and one thing clear. The Pearl Clan leader literally looks like a Levani, bro. Like, what? what is that? I'm Diamond Clan all the way. If, if it gives me the choice, I'm Diamond Clan. I'm off to, I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. <laughs> you can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence of space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going to, who was going on and on about time, Adamant, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan gradually coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. Oh. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. What's that merchant in the back looking at, bro? Oh, here. Let me try to do that quest. Driftloop, go. I wonder if that counted as seeing if it plays with children or not. Guess we'll find out when we do report. But yeah. So I'm Team Diamond all the way, like not even close to Team Pearl. I like Dialga better, anyways, too. So look at this, all the most important people in the show. I mean, in the game, right here, me, the clan leaders, and the boss. What do you intend to do about that Cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get it, right? You do get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasted is lost. Ooh. You see, I mess with this philosophy, too. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. What a diplomatic guy, huh? But even folk with the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's gotta do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. I thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. <laughs> Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. 
This is a first as far as my clan knows too. Hmm. I see you've arrived. I have arrived. The greatest of all time is here. This is this is the greatest of all time. The new member <laughs> the newest member of our survey court. Aha! I hear from Mai you earned Wordier's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be formal. But that's a that's just a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. If you came from beyond the space time rift, could you be the space where could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irina, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaborg before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaborg? This, newcom this newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Oh, oh my god. Yo, Adamant is literally just flaming her and she's just taking it, bro. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing history's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Ciro, who made history vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. Good point. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. Good point. I like that point. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. Now, that's funny because Team Galactic in the future is trying to like control every single Pokemon using Dialga or Palkia. Which is kind of um, what this lady is saying that we shouldn't be doing. This is your mission now, Hervé. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. Uh, <laughs> I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Okay. Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods Cleavor is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet, com you've yet encountered can compare to its strength. Be warned. Okay. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisiri region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? He's acting like we can even do something to threaten our relations with them. Well, I'm assuming. Because usually Pokemon games are very straightforward. And you can't really, like, choose, I guess, how the story goes, right? So join me downstairs, Hervé. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay. I don't know if my team is ready to fight Cleavor. <laughs> I might do, like, get them all to, like, level 15 or something. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Leventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Hervé, I understand you've been requested to find the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. Security Corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of poke battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. I'm the greatest of all time. Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. Diamond and Pearl clans revered their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. 
They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in the location they call Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point of our research research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave to this cleaver. Her. We need to speak with you. Okay, I like your little entrance. <laughs> Listen, that rift in space time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself rides, resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have been just swimming in divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask you, O oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, okay? Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us a good time, young Adamant. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get his get this under control too but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the galaxy team of all people for help and the truth is we in the diamond clan have a similar prob problem on our hands a pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as cleaborn now there's certainly bad blood between us and the pearl clan, pearl clan but still we've all got to share hisui and that means we ought to tackle our problems together but there aren't many capable of standing up against there are but there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His Harden his warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? To tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyways, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. You can count on me, the greatest of all time. He certainly left quick once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adamant and Mai weren't. Adamant and Rai weren't wrong, you know. If you're if you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a great handy place for setting out towards the Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the Pashas too. You want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Um, yeah, as I was saying before, I don't know if my team is ready to fight Cleavor. I got level 12, level... Because my team is very weak to rock type. Find yourself unable to pick up materials you come across? Satchel always seems full? If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Bagging. Yeah, so like, my team is very weak, weak to like a rock type. The only, my best bet is Weasel, and Weasel isn't that high level. Then I guess I could use a Clara too. But, um, I don't think he's going to be doing too much. You can carry around even more in the satchel of yours if you learn the trick of packing things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Teach me. Look, look how my money came up on the right. He's going to ask me for some money. Oh. Not that much, honestly. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fade in your... By Yep, okay. We, we, we get what he's saying. If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's much more I can teach you. What do you say? Maybe later. I'm good. Right now, I'm trying to go... Quell this cleaver, you know? So let me see my team right now. I got Thundershot, Bite, Quick Attack, Ember, Double Hit. So I'm gonna get my 
whole team to at least level 11 at least. Um, that seems like the smartest move to make. And we'll see how it goes from there. There's a waterfall back there. This really is a whole different area, huh? Oh. Let's go ahead and head down. Oh, Pikachu! Gotta sneak up on this. Back strike. Yes, sir. Oh, he's mad. Hey, oh, my bad, Pika. <laughs> okay, now he's on high alert. I'm gonna have to battle him now. Um, you know, I was trying to get behind him, but you know. Doesn't matter, we got our Geo dude here. Ready to mud slap him. Get him low. Oh nice. So stat changes also work different in this game. It's kinda crazy. Right, let's catch this Pikachu, bro. Come on, Pika. Yes, sir. Catch an alpha B barrel, huh? I might have to take him out. He's kind of in my way. I could try to sneak past him though, which I'm probably gonna end up doing because I don't want any problems with this big. Oh no, nah. he's he's definitely on me. He doesn't see me. <laughs> That's the sneak feature in games. I'm gonna get this back strike here. Off on him. Uh, sir? I mean, if he's not gonna attack me... Nah. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still gonna attack him. Some good XP, probably. Wait, this thing's level 16. Hopefully it doesn't have rollout. Okay, nice stun. Oh, I don't have mastery on this yet. I was about to say if I hit him with strong one, he's probably dead. Crit him. No. Icy wind. That's wait, that's quite effective. Oh my god. Why does the guy have icy wind, man? Go into Weasel and try to catch this. Dude, Go Junior is already dead, and I just got here, man. Knowing Pokemon, they'll probably heal me up there. Oh. Like that's still kind of trash. Not trash on the game. That's just trash by me. Okay. All right, I, I have to take this thing out. This thing is a little bit too strong right now. I'm going to this thunder shock it. Oh well. Say yeah <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Sir. Level fifteen. Maybe I need to get my team way higher than I already have it. Honestly, you know what? Level 14 I can handle. Nice job.
my star ravia is i mean my starly is ready to evolve which i will let it evolve um even though i'm probably not going to be using too much of it in this fight but um in the future i'm gonna be using it so let's let it evolve all right evolve do it Dude, this game has such a primal feel with it. With the music. Starly Evolved into Staravia. Okay. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden of the Cleave the Warden of Cleaver. Lord of the Woods. And you. I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Oh, so this guy's just basically a smartass, huh? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. <laughs> After all, the powerful, awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with some awesome might. So I must turn away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. <laughs> oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleaver. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am le to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. Or face the mighty wrath Mighty Wrath of my Gumi. Okay. Well, I'm leading a water type, which is weak, which is resisted by dragon, which kind of sucks. Uh. I'm gonna bow out only to come back in a second. Let's battle, Leon. Let me show you why I'm the greatest. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense into this foolish troublemaker. <laughs> Hello, Gumi. I wonder if you can find a Gumi in this um, jungle or whatever. Right, let's go ahead and go with Hypnosis. I missed, which, you know, I was getting kind of lucky hitting those Hypnosis twice in a row. Okay. Okay, now we got the hypnosis off. Maybe I switch by clicking ZR. Oh, okay. So that's how you switch. Um this Gumi has bubbles, so I can't go out into... I'm gonna switch to Go Junior. You know, Go Junior, he should be able to deal with some of this. I'm gonna hit him with a Gust just to see how much damage he's doing. That's a decent amount of damage. Got him with the Drowsy. Gonna gust him again. And then I'm going to. Okay! You see? That's why we keep the drift blue on our team, bro. Oh my god. GG, I guess. Drift Loon is too strong. You defeated Gumi. <laughs> you just got sauced. Move Master, new move, can evolve. Okay, that's probably really good that our Luxie, oh well, Shinx <laughs> can evolve. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get is if you approach him with... Is a flurry of... Okay, the only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. 
a nice heap helping of his two favorite foods served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor has been rampaging and running amok. There's nothing an outsider like you can do. The answers of Cleavor were dear, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sindel's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still live in vast history today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means too much to our clan. I'd hope you could bring this situation under control ourselves, not to throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all of this? Could an outsider actually... Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close. Enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of vast history. The arc point is beeping. Mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Thank God. <laughs> Fast travel is, you know, a very important thing when it comes down to a game like this. Alright, so I really did want to include, like, us encountering Cleaver in this episode, but I guess that's not going to happen because, you know, I had to go on a whole different quest to figure out how to calm him down. So, that's going to be the end of this episode. I think this was episode 6. Um, we got to get a little bit of lore behind Cleavor, I guess. And next episode, we're going to see if we can calm him down. So, if you're excited for that, um, tune in for the next episode. And um, like, comment, subscribe if you want. I'll see you in the next episode.